This PetroSkills Petro Academy skill module will discuss hydraulic fracturing at the core knowledge level. This particular module discusses why this module is important. The oil and gas industry utilizes stimulations to improve the productivity of producing wells in both the conventional and unconventional realms. If a well is understimulated, then it will not produce to its full potential. On the other hand, an overstimulated well will result in spending more on the completion than is necessary and poorer economics. Hydraulic fracturing is the method most commonly used to stimulate wells industry-wide. In order to optimize the stimulation, one must understand how the rock will perform under stress. The rock properties of the reservoir rock are studied to determine how they will react to the stimulation fluids and pressures to which they will be exposed during a hydraulic fracture treatment. This module will expose the participant to the relationship between rock properties and fracture behavior. The module also explains the four stages of a hydraulic fracture and the purpose of each stage. There are numerous design criteria to consider when designing a fracture stimulation. The various options for these criteria are discussed as well as the application of each. Lastly, two additional stimulation methods are covered which are used more in conventional reservoirs, frac packs and acid fracturing. Frac packs are a combination of sand control and stimulation. Acid fracks are normally used to stimulate tight carbonate rock. It is important that the petroleum engineer understand the applications of the various stimulation methods at our disposal. Furthermore, one must understand when to utilize a particular type, size, and concentration of propent versus another, or why slick water gels are pumped in some wells and linear or cross-linked gels in others. This module will help one to understand the various choices in stimulation design and the applications of each option.